Recall from previous videos that the muscles of inspiration are the thoracic diaphragm, or simply diaphragm, and also the intercostal muscles, particularly the external intercostals. If these muscles are Batman and Robin, certainly the diaphragm is Batman and the external intercostals are Robin. But in any case, we're going to be looking at inspiratory muscle stretches here. But in any case, we're going to be looking at stretches for these inspiratory muscles. So these stretches will target the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles, all of which can become tight. Let's look at the first inspiratory muscle stretch. So to do this stretch, you're going to lie down on your side, place your head on a pillow just for support here. And I'm lying on my left side right here. So the muscles I'm going to be stretching are those that are on my right side, which is up in the air. Also notice that my hips and knees are bent to about 90 degrees. Now from here, I'm going to take the arm in the air and reach up over my head like this. And what we're looking for is for these ribs right here, to elevate a little bit up. It's going to be very subtle, and when they elevate, they're actually going to separate away from each other, which is part of the stretch. So right about there, notice they start to really elevate, and this is where they're separating. So I'm just going to reach up here as far as I can. If you can only go here, that's also fine to do whatever you can. And once you're in this position, and these right ribs are slightly separated, you're going to go through diaphragmatic breathing cycles. I recommend breathing in through the nose for four seconds and then exhaling through pursed lips, like you're about to blow out a birthday candle for eight seconds. So that will look something like this. If you don't feel much of a stretch on this side, it's likely because you're either not having your arm up far enough to where your ribs are separating, or your inspiratory muscles only have mild tightness. This stretch I just showed you is the mildest, the least intense of all the stretches that we're gonna do. So let's go on to a progression of this. Now for the second inspiratory muscle stretch. So we're gonna start off in roughly the same position. So I'm on my left side here, which means that the right side is in the air. That's the side that's being stretched. Hips and knees both at about 90 degrees. But for this stretch, I'm gonna place both hands behind my head and rotate my spine in such a way that I try to put my back flat on the table here. So that'll look like this. I'm gonna get into this position pretty slowly and with control. Okay. Already, I feel a greater stretch for these right inspiratory muscles because this is a more intense position. So if you have issues handling the first stretch, probably wait to proceed to this particular stretch because it is more intense. Now from here, I'm going to initiate those diaphragmatic breathing cycles. So inhale through the nose for four seconds and exhale through pursed lips for eight seconds. So let's do that. If this is a little bit too intense, you can always come up a little bit so that you're not completely flat on the table. You're still gonna get some stretch of these muscles. And now finally for the third inspiratory muscle stretch. For this one, you wanna be in standing and you wanna have a wall or a door frame on one side. In this case, I have a wall on my right side, which means I'm gonna be stretching the opposite side, my left inspiratory muscles in this case. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to reach up and side bend toward that wall. 
Now you can probably already guess here that these muscles are elongating. So my left ribs are all separating from each other, which means all those intercostals are being stretched. Also, the left hemidiaphragm is also gonna be stretched in this position. Once again, you're gonna go through those diaphragmatic breathing cycles. So inhale through the nose for four seconds, exhale through pursed lips for eight seconds. With this stretch, you're also going to get a stretch of the oblique muscles. You might also feel that, also a stretch of the transverse abdominus muscles, so some of the core. But when I'm in this position, particularly at the peak of inhalation, that's where I feel the majority of the stretch of these muscles. And this one also happens to be my favorite, the one I use the most clinically. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.